Did you know you can actually get Windows 7 supported until 2026? It's actually free. And I'm going to show you how. Okay, so what you want to do is basically... Um, there's a secret version of Windows for like special devices that no one really knows about. It's based off Windows 7 and all that sort of stuff. Even though it's NT 6.1, it can run like new programs. First of all, I'll show you this page, whatever it is. Um, what else? Stupid. Okay, this is the page I wanted to show you. It's like the version of Windows called like Windows Embedded Server 8.1 Compact PS PS Ready. 2016 r2 it's basically a version of windows that's like um it, it's basically supported until 2026 as you can see there's no trickery going on here there's no inspect element it's all real as you can see if i refresh see it's all real so what you want to do is like basically shut up you want to basically like go to this page. I'm not going to show you the link of this page. I'm not going to show you like the link of this page at all. But yeah, whatever. This guy is saying like boring stuff, whatever. Um, we're going to want to like download the ISO. And after you have the ISO downloaded, you're going to have to basically like wait. And once the ISO is downloaded, you just basically copy paste. M bed M and then I'm gonna show you some coding stuff. So inspect and then we're gonna do some coding here. Embed slash ESU slash upgrade slash stay slash stay slash oct slash 2026 slash 2020 2030 e and then backward slash I mean no, not backward slash. Yeah, backward slash. C. Microsoft. Ooh. And then do like Mac OS or whatever. I'm not, I'm not sure what it's called. And then do Vent Monterey. Like that. Now just make sure to do it like this. Don't, don't mess it up, okay? And then, yeah, you do that. And then once you refresh, it will refresh. Come on, refresh. Okay, it shows you the wrong end of support date and it renames your product because it knows that we're doing something malicious. Even though it's completely legal, it's just we have to pay for it for some reason. I don't understand why Microsoft asks us to pay for the products that they work on. Anyways, so once that's done, you go to Windows Update on whatever device it is. Like I'm using Windows 7. And you basically go here and check for updates. And woo, we have so many updates available. So just download them. Just click this button. And you can see they're all installed now. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, please.